So first Champions Tour event. I'm a little nervous actually this morning. It's a whole different format for me. Every fish counts. Uh, this is my first time up here being a boat marshal and it's super awesome because one, I've never been up to Vermilion and it's a super awesome lake and it's super pretty. And two, my, my angler is smoking them right now. Good morning. Welcome to the 2020 Champions Tour. We're getting ready to blast on from Lake Vermilion. We have an incredible morning. The guys are getting after it. You can feel the vibe in the air. It's going to be an exciting day. Stay with us as you watch us live today. Champions Tour 2020, Lake Vermilion. We're just getting ready to take off. The anglers have literally just left the docks a minute ago. And one of the unique things we do at the Champions Tour is we actually have a lake split. And in this case, last night, just before leaving, they had the opportunity to see how we split the lake. This is the entire lake of Vermilion, so it's not in great detail for you to see right now. But this morning, all the anglers are fishing on the eastern portion of the lake, so the main basin and the eastern edge. This afternoon, when they return, they'll have a lunch break, and then this afternoon, all the anglers will be fishing on the opposite end, on the western and north shore of the lake. One of the philosophies I have on selecting the lake is that this basin area is really well known for smallmouth. I expect to see in just a matter of minutes the leaderboard lighting up with a lot of smallmouth being caught this morning. This afternoon the dynamics may change. There are certainly a lot of smallmouth in this part of the lake as well. However, it's also known for a lot of largemouth. So having said that, I expect that you're going to see transitions from styles of angling from smallmouth to largemouth this afternoon looking for those numbers. The key to these guys, they need to be catching fish, they need to be catching fish all day. And if they're not, it's going to start to play with their mind and they're going to have to make fast changes to their presentation. So. It'll be a fun day. I think we're going to see a lot of fish caught. Stunning weather today. Check them out. We're going to show them live in just a minute. Yeah, so I started the day on this stretch right here. Um, I've been fishing here the whole time, getting a bunch of bites. I'm wishing the fish were a little bit bigger, but because uh, I've already gotten like 14 bites, I think. Um, but some of them are barely keepers. But um, I'm just going to keep going along here and hopefully I can pick up a few more. Yeah, it's been pretty good going this morning. Just been throwing a wacky Senko around. I started on some reeds. Now I'm just fishing a big rock. I've had two flurries so far. One right off the bat and one right here a little bit ago. Just came back to see if I could pick off a few more here. Yeah, it looks like I got about 29 pounds. I don't know how many ounces. About five pounds back from the leader, but I'm in second place. So take that for now. Got to get a, another flurry going to catch Jacob Novak. He's just been putting a hurt on him this morning. Here we go. They're just, I thought there was a couple fish on this rock and they're just, it's loaded up. Oh, flip that one, I guess. Better safe than sorry. Two pounder anyway. Close. 113. 113, I'll take it. Got it. There he goes, beauty of this format. Now we just got done fishing this one spot. I had a flurry in the morning, so I wanted to come back and uh, fish it again. I had one bite that I missed and I caught a decent keeper. 
Now we're gonna actually go back to where I started this morning, where I had another flurry and see if I could pick up a few more, and then we're gonna run some new water. That one actually might be a 12 incher. If it is 12 incher, it should be a pound. But yeah, the minimum we can weigh in is a pound. Four, and 14 he's ounces. Not quite there. 14 ounces. Just needed two more ounces, and that would have been a scorable fish. So this spot is actually where I started. And I was expecting to catch some bass, but I wasn't expecting this much. Um, I think I pulled like 15 off this stretch. Uh, and now I'm just running back over it. Uh, I already got two more, so they're starting to reload. Um, and they were both decent ones too, so. Um, I'm sitting in the lead with a little over 40 pounds, I think. So I need a couple more bites before the half, and then I'll be happy. I've caught every single one of my fish on, on a Ned rig. Uh, I'm using a eighth ounce uh, jig head. I, I like using the lighter one just so it doesn't get snagged so much on these rocks. Um, just with the regular size TRD. And they've been liking it so far, so. Two, two. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, two, two. Good. Well, that's the end of period one. Time to head back to lunch. I'm uh, really happy with the, the first half. Uh, I did a little bit better than expected. Um, so, going strong into the second period, hopefully, I can pull it off. Andy Nichols here. We're sitting at halftime of the Classic Bass Champions Tour up here at Vermilion. Uh, I think I'm sitting in second place right now, maybe third. I'm somewhere around there. The weights are tight. I think I got about 35 pounds. So uh, what I've been doing this morning is it's just been fishing shallow, reeds, docks, big rocks. Um, had some cameramen in the boat with me earlier. When they jumped out of the boat, uh, I ended up catching them some more. So those guys should have stayed with me. But uh, I caught a real good one, threw back to the same tree, and lost an even bigger one. So in a format where every fish counts, I mean, you don't want to lose big fish anytime, but when you, every fish counts, you got to put every fish in the boat. All right, so we're finishing up the lunch break here. Um, currently sitting in second place. Uh, not too far from, from the leader, so I'm hoping for, for a good second half. I'm just, second half, I'm just going to be running, running all over the place and um, just hoping for a couple bites here and there. Uh, essentially, the last 35 minutes of the first period, I was able to make a charge and caught quite a, quite a few fish, maybe 10 fish or something like that. Uh, we ran quite a bit of ways away, and uh, we raced back here. Turns out we were a little bit late getting back here, so we're going to endure a five-minute penalty on going out, but I'm not too mad about it because it turns out once they got back here, added up the numbers, it looks like we're sitting in first place after the first half. So we're looking for a good rotation in the second half. Hopefully we can make the right calls and uh, try to pull this thing off. Nearly as mad as that other one. Oh, you sucker. You're good. That's a good one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got a lot of ground to make up. No. Three eight. Yes. Good. Yeah, man. 
the Nishalit. Uh, update on start of period two. Well, I checked in late at the last period, the first period. I was late. And that cost me a five minute penalty. So we got a little bit of a late start. And we got back at it. We caught a few fish. We've hit a few. I got a little fish hitting on it. You can see how small they are. But it must be in just an area where there's a lot of little ones. I'm getting a lot of bites. I'm setting the hook like crazy if you were watching me on video you probably think i have no clue what the heck i'm doing maybe i don't but um there's just a lot of little fish right here which has me thinking you know it might be beneficial to move areas all together yeah there's just a whole bunch So we're inside of two hours of fishing now, give or take, and it's looking like, and you can never say for sure, but it's looking like it's going to be kind of a two horse race here between uh, Jacob Novak and Kyle Shuda. And they're, they're fishing similar areas right now, but the way they're fishing is drastically different. Um, Jacob is like creeping down shoreline, very methodical, like leaving no boulder unturned, anything that's a little bit out of the ordinary. He gives a few casts to Kyle. On the other hand, is he's actually been hard to keep up with. We've been chasing him all over the place. He runs to a dock, gets three casts under it, maybe, and he's gone. And if he's on a dock for more than two or three minutes, you know that he's caught one. And on some docks, he'll find one and he'll catch four or five right away, super quick. So, similar areas. Guys are pretty close in weight right now, about 10 pounds between them. But Novak's making a little bit of a run here, but. Uh, Two, drastic, different, two drastically different styles on how they're fishing, but uh, good results for both of them. So um, this penalty has been a hot mess, like, <laughs> like the whole tournament realistically, but um, we've been catching fish, we've been getting bit, mostly small ones. I'm not getting any bigger fish yet this period, uh, which I'm a little surprised by, but a lot of them are weighing. I've been on this one dock right here. I'm in penalty right now. I've weighed three bass off it and broke two other ones off and had another bite that I didn't get. So I've had a ton of bites on this, just this one dock. So I think we're doing the right thing. So a quick update here. Um, we're a little over halfway through the second period. Uh, it's definitely a lot slower for me, and it looks like for a lot of people too. Um, first place guy, I think it's Shuda. He's, I mean, he's pulling away from me a little bit, but he's still definitely in reach. So I'm just going to keep running around and hopefully I can get some more bites. It's like he's got friends. Very nice. Things are looking like they're going your way. You think? I think so. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. You should be feeling it. The little 3-1. It's actually the biggest one I think we've caught this whole deal. Here he goes back in. A little face wash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. freaking out a little bit. Right. We're just waiting. I know there's a lot of weights and the score tracker might move around a little bit here. So uh, um, I'm nervous. I'm nervous for sure. So with four fish in the first half and then whacking 49.7 pounds in the second half, the comeback award goes to Connor O'Connor. Big Bass, Matt Thompson. 
He had a five pound, five ounce bass with 72.14 pounds, Jim Moyna. $3,000 and a Lake Master Lake Chip. In third place was 74.9 pounds, $3,500 and a Helix 12, Andy Nichols. In second place was 76.4 pounds, $5,500 and a new Ultrax trolling motor, Matt Thompson. And our champion today in first place was 76.13 pounds, a nine ounce difference. Kyle Shuda for $12,000, a trophy, a Yeti tumbler, bring it home. Congratulations, Kyle.